Gulfstream just glancing at it. I, I think I'm interested in this race. Uh, this is going to be, a, this is a little confusing race. I'm looking for speed. Uh, this one horse, Matt Strides with the slowest winner, then he was slow, slow. Uh, that 21 and one, that's slow. Or 22 and one is slow at the turf iron Gulfstream. That, that's crawling. Uh, usually they go sub 21 or sub 22. Uh, the thing is, he does have a big class drop. Believe it or not, the horse that I'm interested in is this two horse. I got, I got that he tried to, he came out three by one last three races. Uh, last race, I got the inside of the track being good. He was on the eight hole. He came out fast, uh, average, and fell apart. I, I'm taking a shot with this horse at 24 to one. Uh, I'm willing to get, if I get beat by this one, I just get beat by this one. Two races go. I got the inside of the track being good again. He was in the five hole. Uh, he came out average, slow, slow, flashed a little bit of speed, fell apart. Uh, fours, first time, or three, first time starter. I ignore them. They're not part of my game. Uh, the four, rail was bad last race, but even with a bad rail, uh, the 10 hole is almost never good at golf stream. Uh, he came out second, slow, slow. I'm a little interested in him off of that race. Uh, the only other horse I think could get the speed is, lead is possibly this five. Five's been at this level for a little while. I just got him as average, matching strides with the slowest winner at the second call for his first two races, or for his last two races. Uh, other than that, I mean, six would have to improve, possibly with the class drop. I don't trust this uh, seven at all. Two races ago, the rail was good, and he was still slow that day. Uh, I don't really think the nine has any real speed. Uh, where he was fast, that was a mile race that's getting back to... Uh, I guess he has a race in December where he could win this race. And then the 10 and the 11, I'm just not interested. I think I'm going to go for this race. Uh, it's not a perfect circumstance, but I think I got to go for it. I'm mostly interested in this two horse. As bad as he looks, that's who I like. The horses are approaching the starting gate. One minute. I think whoever gets the lead wins this race. Well, most of my bet is on this two to win. Then I'm making smaller bets again with the two to win, the four and the five. Did I look at the 12? Tell me I looked at the 12. Yeah, I've seen the 12. And whether I hit this race or not, to me the most important thing is that the winner comes from either the lead or within three lengths of the first call. Uh, I want speed to hold on. Where we go? She goes that well. She... Not sure, I'm, I got to key the two with a bun. I'm sorry I didn't really look at the 12 for closers. Uh, as far as getting a piece, you're asking for getting a piece, Daryl. I never like talking. I know you play a lot of supers. All of my notes and everything and the way I handicap, because I mostly play doubles, exactas, and win, uh, I do all my focusing on the win bet. For me saying if a horse could get the piece, 
I'm excited. I got to walk on this one. It's, it's just uh, especially th when we're talking third or fourth place, I don't know. And I'm walking, baby. I'll just walk around the staircase. Come on, just keep this two and five going for me. this too. Come on with this too. Do not spit this bit for me. That's the way I do it, baby. Title belt. Woo! Boom, baby. Yeah! <laughs> That's the way we hit 25 to ones, baby! Stone Cold! And yes, I'm pissed that I did not play the exacta, but I got a $60 win bet. <laughs> nice, Mizzou, man! I wish I had enough guts to pull the trigger on the exact. I didn't even think exacta. I did not even think exacta. I bet the two to win. Then I came back and bet the two, the four, and the five to win. Actually, I don't have $60 to win. My first bet on the two was $60. So when I bet them again, I got 80 bucks on the two. <laughs> Javon hit the exact double win and play. God damn it. I wish I would have thought I, you know what? When I try to add these extra tracks like Oakland today, uh, you know, some days they bail me out. Uh, the last couple Thursdays, we've been hitting Oakland. Oh, uh, but I think because they were on top of each other, I didn't think to do exactas and doubles. Uh, we obviously didn't have, have time to look at the uh, doubles. Probably should have pulled the exacta. Not sure hit the, uh, it looks like uh, Rex hit the exacta. Not sure hit the exacta. Hey, thanks guys, that was fun. That's handicapping right there. Now we should, we should be in a spot today with that being our biggest bet of the day so far, or at least it was for me, that I, sh I believe in protecting yourself. Uh, I know sometimes when I have these big sh uh, hits in the show, I'm actually okay with losing focus for the rest of the show. Uh, because I'm naturally going to cut down my action. Uh, and to me, my biggest thing, I didn't even do a place bet on this horse. Hey guys, there's a $400 exacta. Nice hit, guys. Uh, so anyways, uh, we got a mile on the turf. Right now, I think that maybe we want to be stalker closers kind of guys uh, looking for that kind of a horse here. The one horse, outside of the track, was good last race. I do have a question mark on that, but I'm pretty sure it was outside. He had the outside. Uh, he matched strides with the slowest winner, slow, slow. He did get in position at the top of the stretch. 
Uh, he's dropping a little bit, not a terrible race. Uh, two races ago, he was average, average, slow at a little bit higher of a class. He did finish eight by one, so he did keep coming. Three races ago, bad rail. He was in the five hole. He was wide. Uh, average match strides with the slowest winner, slow. And three races ago, I don't know why all of a sudden he was a speed rate horse. But that, to me, was his best race ever. Uh... I don't know. Uh, he's nine to two. I, I want to go and see what I really see here. Uh, the two's making the same class drop as him. He was average, 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 pretty much at the uh, same place at the top of the stretch, four by three quarters, uh, last two races, uh, bad rail two races ago, and three races ago, outside of the track was good. He got an asterisk for running against the bias. Uh... He looks, he looks, honestly to me, the same as the one horse. Uh, the four horse, slow, match strides with the slowest winner, not in position at the top of the stretch, lower level, don't really like that race. Two races go, one race sample, he won while stalking. Uh, basically, he's stepping up again a little bit. Uh, I'd say the one and the two probably has an edge on him. Five horse, outside of track was good. He was on the good outside. He was still slow, slow, slow. Two races go average, average, average. Just not consistent. If he gets in position at the top of the stretch, uh, I'm still looking for something better than what I'm seeing. Right now, I'm seeing very little speed in the race. And they've been getting away with slow first quarters. Uh, seven, average, 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 two races ago, closing day, just average, 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 has not been getting in position at the top of the stretch. Wow, two to one. Okay, here's a favorite I don't care for. He also just been getting beat by, we, we, we see three horses that just beat him in two different races in bold type. Oh, for me to take two to one on him, I'm definitely not interested in him. Uh, this eight horse might have some speed. Uh, I can't explain his last race. He looks a little short on class, but three races ago, he did earn a heart. I like him a little bit. It looks like a lot of these horses are coming out of the same March 14th races. I got to speed up and uh, I was trying to get alive to the 12 and the 13 last race. Uh, the 12 last race outside of the track was good. I got a question mark. He was average, slow, slow. Uh, that just looks like he chased a very slow pace. I don't think he's a true front speed horse. Two races ago, he was pretty fast while he won. I like that race. Wow, he's 18 to 1. And three races ago, stalking closing day. Uh, he was average, average, average. I still like the 12 a little bit. I don't think I'm going to love anyone this race. Marco Lou has a double to the one four five. Uh, Devon is saying, how do you get past this uh, seven? I don't think it's that hard. I see that he got beat by three horses. Who is this Yoko horse or whatever that beat everyone? Sometimes I have a, a, a little bit of trouble figuring out these abbreviations. The 12 is a horse that beat half of these horses in this race. On March 14th, the 12 beat... The 12 beat the 9 before... The 12 beat the 7 before. 
The 12 beat the 6 before. The 12 beat the 5 before. And the 12 beat the 1 before. Twelve was the horse. I'm trying. I'm. I'm definitely doing something with the twelve. I. I cannot play. I can't get away from this twelve at eighteen to one. I'm thinking win in place right now, but I want to see the twelve also beat the thirteen before he beat uh, the thirteen on March seventh. Most of these horses he beat on. March 14th, when he was the second, second, second. The 12, the biggest downside to me is you got to explain his last race. Now, he did get beat by a couple of these horses uh, April 4th. So the 13 came back and beat him. So the 12 doesn't win automatically. I'm not going to put be able to put together anything else here. I'm going to wheel the, uh, the 12 first and second with a bunch of horses, but I'm definitely putting money on him to win in place. I got to get that in now. Win in place on the 12. Where's my exactus? I'm putting the one, and I'm, I'm probably gonna miss someone. I'm putting the one, the five, the seven, and the 13 on top of the 12. Let me get that. And I'm putting them under the 12, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that bet. I got them on top, or I got them under the 13, the seven, the five, and the one. It feels like I missed something, but I got to hit fire away. Who did I miss? I need this 12 to get first or second. I just want this 12 to rate. I know I don't have 11... Oh, 12's a gray. Who is this 11 and what did I miss on him so bad? I wish I had a couple more minutes with that race. I, and I, I, I got only myself to blame because I got so distracted. Oh, 11's a sprinter. Why is the 12 letting everyone get in? I, I guess the 12 just don't have them. I don't understand this ride. I thought he'd get first run on all these horses. The one, the five, everyone is, I guess they're not fucking around with him and letting him get off easy. He's running though. With this 12. Come on with this 12. Get him home for me. Get him home for me. Get him home for me. Ha ha. Woo. Get him home for me! I think this chat room bet him down from 18 to 1. I'm going to blame you guys for me not getting 18 to 1 on this horse. <laughs> I'm blaming you guys. I don't even know if I hit this exact. I don't think I did. 
I don't think I hit this exacta. 12.9, do I got a 12.9? I don't think I did. I'm, a, I'm gonna look at the horse on the form first before I look at my bet history. Oh my God, wait, wait a minute. I bet every horse, I don't think I got him and I should have, he, he just ran with them. I took everyone that he beat and somehow I left, I think I left out the nine. Recall to today's bet, I don't think I got the nine. I don't have the nine. But we got another nice win place bet on the 12th. Oh my God, win bet on the exact. Hey, not sure. W weren't you on the other 25 to 1? Were you on the 25 to 1, the 30 to 1, and the 18 to 1? Or the 12 to 1? I keep calling them 18 to 1 because I'm blaming you guys on knocking them down. Oh, when did the stream go? Uh, when did the stream start to lag? Michael Lester got a 10 to win in place. Win place and show on the 12. Daryl got the tr try 12, 9, 13. Nice hit, fucking Daryl. I'm pissed that I don't have that exact. -a. I am so pissed I don't have that. So what I was trying to do, I was trying to take all the horses and play him the 12 first and second with all the horses that were coming out of either April or I think it was the April 4th race and the March 14th race. I got the nine right there. Who is that? That's the 12 right there. I'm trying to highlight them. It's not highlighting, but I'm trying to highlight them. This was just me not having enough time because I'm a dumb shit that waits to the last second. I said I was going to like this race. I said they gave me a claiming race for the last race. Once we got, once we got rid of all these garbage $62,000 races and some stakes races, uh, we're able to handicap. <laughs> Fuck, we got a 25 to 1 and a 12 to 1. Uh, our only, well, my only two big bets of the day, uh, actually they weren't my max bet, but they were solid moderate. And, and in the days of today betting, they were by far my two biggest bets of the day though. Uh, so today's a great day. Not sure, bet against the set. Yeah, and I, I, this is what I'm talking about. I don't understand why the seven, why is the seven a bet down here? I mean, just look at his highlights of the, his running line. You got, you got uh, the 12 beating him there. Who is this, Bad Kitten and something? You got two horses beating him that race. I mean, I wouldn't have had a problem if the seven won the race. But I do have a problem taking the seven at two to one, you know, in that case scenario. You know, like if the seven would have beat me, I would have just said, well, I, I took the long, you know, I wouldn't have had a problem with them, but uh, it looks like the one, oh, it's Bahama Kitten, not Bad Kitten. Trying to figure out these abbreviations is just crazy sometimes. Well, that's a day. That's a handicapping today.